It's easy to use No Days Bail Bond on several pieces and heat set them all at once using an oven. Cut a piece of bail bond to fit the size of your bail. Use a bit of painter's tape to create a sandwich by placing your bail bond between the pendant and the bail. The tape will prevent the bail from moving in the oven once the bail bond has melted. Place the pendant sandwich face down. For ease of transport, you can place several pendants on a cookie sheet. Place the cookie sheet and pendants in a room temperature oven and set it for your curing temperature. The bail bond begins to liquefy at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. To evenly heat the glass, bail, and bail bond, you'll need to set your oven at about 200 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Each oven will heat a bit differently, so it's recommended that you do a small test heat before tackling a large tray of pendants. This way you'll know exactly what temperature your oven should be set to. When I fired a small tray of pendants in my toaster oven, I needed to set the temperature at 300 degrees. Once the oven reaches curing temperature, leave the pendant for a few minutes to let the bail bond melt to the bail and the pendant. It's important that both the bail and the glass are hot enough for the bail bond to fully adhere. You can peek in the oven and actually see the bail bond melting between the bail and the pendant. After the pendant has cooled, carefully remove the tape. If there's any residue from the tape, it can be scratched off with your fingernail or rubbed with a little vegetable oil. If there's residue on the bale, you can wipe it clean with some mineral spirits on a paper towel or on a cotton swab. If the bale bond has melted out from under the bale and is still warm, you may be able to scratch off any excess with your fingernail. Otherwise, an X-Acto blade will help to remove it. Now the pendants are ready to wear. Visit our video gallery at Struder.com for more tips and tricks for working with No Day's Bail Bond.